Okay, everybody, you're never going to guess who's on his way over right now to film a video. Aaron Rodgers? Nope. Tom Brady? Uh uh. Troy Eggman? No. Marcus Dupree? No. Okay, I'll give you a hint. He's a Hall of Fame angler, and he practically wrote the book on musky fishing. Rob Lowe? Huh? Okay, one more hint. He's got his own fishing show, and it's called Fishing with Joe Booker. Ladies and gentlemen, the panel of dreams. <laughs> From left to right, Guru, Master Joda, and Stephen Paul. Musky Who catches them all? Who catches them all? Spring, summer, and fall. And we're already goofing around, and I haven't even let you guys say anything yet. <laughs> uh, no introductions needed past this point. You guys, what, what do you think? Talk about some summer fishing tactics? You know, it's been a, it's been a kind of a crazy summer. You know, it's mm -hmm. it's it's kind of interesting. Um, in the north, up here, we we're getting some of the warmest water temperatures. We're over that. We're actually over that now. But we had some of the warmest water temperatures we've seen in the last few summers. So we've had some 80s. Uh, we're back down into the low to mid 70s, which now it's acceptable oh, to fish. Yeah, right, right. So you know, I mean, there's no more. We don't have to worry about being musky politically correct any longer. And of course, I can say that because <clears throat> I guess it, because I want to, you know, and whether it's right or it's wrong. But anyways, what has it done to the fishing? Yeah. Eh, you know, I guess if, if anything, I guess it's when you talk to enough anglers and 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 you cut through all of the uh, yeah, I'm just tearing them up, and they, you know, you get after a few beers, you find out yeah, they're catching some here, they're catching some there, but it's a challenge. You know, it's it hasn't been that good for most people. Now, that aside, I have seen a few guys on, on a handful of waters catching, you know, pretty consistently catching fish all through this thing. I personally haven't fished as much as I usually do this time of the year because of uh, uh, a late boat. I think COVID-19 has created a lot of issues for me. Right, everything. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, and I'm moving and all this other stuff, but you guys don't want to hear about that. Bottom line is, um, I, I, Steve and, and Guru and I fished uh, two days ago. Two days, ago. Yep. And we got a nice fish. Day before that, these guys were on them pretty good. They got a couple fish, and so, you know, I think I think I guess the one thing that we have discovered, and where we've been successful, mm -hmm. has been surprisingly really shallow. Yeah. Like two feet. Yeah. We're fishing two feet in the slop slot masters. I mean, it's just they're up there. They're yeah. up tight. Yeah, and you're seeing them there too. Aren't yeah, you? yeah, we're seeing them. We're like we're dude, we're up in it. Yeah. Yeah, we're, just a willingness to make yeah, those casts yeah. that it might be uncomfortable, it might be problematic. Every other cast is a foul, but mm -hmm. you got to fish where the fish are a lot of times. Yeah. And you know, following that up, um, after these guys had a big day fishing real shallow, and then we hooked up, mm -hmm. and yes. we were fishing for a few hours there yeah. without any action, fishing normal summer spots that I would fish, I basically went inside of the entire area I was fishing and started casting the super shallow stuff backwards and boy within three four minutes yeah had a beautiful there. fish a northwoods so hog a northwoods <laughs> hog <laughs> oh lord now now it's going down i can promise you northwoods oh uh, you know uh, our crew here we just have so much fun right. you know it's one of those things we have a great team of guys we work with and and you know the whole thing even with musky 360 is the guy you're the guy sitting right next to me here he is the guy that really got Muskie 360 off and running, but, you, hey, but you know, you know, together the three of us, we were on a fishing trip last year mm -hmm. in, in Canada, right. and people were hitting me up for with all these different questions, and I'm pouring a cup of coffee, and this guy's asked me a question, and that guy's asked me a question, and they were all over the map, yeah. and. Yeah. Some guys had just started musky fishing, yeah, and then some every, guys are like level. intermediate and there's these guys that are really hardcore guys. And so, you know, what moon phase is it? What should I use it? What is it? And all of a sudden, I got back to the table, and Steve says, You need, you need an eye up. You need an eye up, bud. <laughs> and I, I said, went, Deeter, Deeter, Tater. <laughs> well, anyways, I said, I, You need, I need an app. Yeah, wow. I need an app. And there it is. Then that's how it started. And I said, Okay, I, I, I agree with you. And then that's how it started. And then, believe it or not, he he designed and, and, and laid out and wrote the code and everything for this app. 
I mean, I'm sitting alongside a very special man right here. This guy's pretty darn good at what he does. Spe special. <laughs> yeah. No, you're special, dynamite. Special needs. You're, no, no, it's way beyond that. But I think what you're getting to, or you're alluding to why we did it, and it's it's what it's become is, is it's for everybody of every skill level. Yes. And we ca cater to that, though, yes. which is cool because it's just like, from the moon phase, how do I use the moon phase? How do I read the weather to... Crazy how, deep trolling my, stuff. how deep does my lure run? Right. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's like all yes. the we sit around and we go, what problem do we need to solve with the app? Yes. All the time. Like, yes. if we have a question, we used it yesterday. Mm. We were out yeah. trolling. It's not just for like, I mean, we need to figure out what what's this going to do with this depth, this amount of line. Yes. It's just handy. You know? Well, you know what's really cool, and 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 we made it free. We made it free so that there there's you know there's no hesitation on accessing it and yeah. steve made it so user friendly videos articles podcasts charts we apologize faces. for the podcast <laughs> apologize in advance for the podcast. Well, you know what's <laughs> funny about the podcast the podcast is like one of our if not the most popular thing that people visit on the app yeah, we have fun with it we have a i mean you're but you're the star of the app there's no question you're star of the podcast no matter who we get on there and i thought it was really appropriate even last week that with all the discussion about water temperatures is it too hot to fish for muskies you know are you wearing the right clothes all this other stuff you know well we we got a one of the four most form you know, bi biologists jordan weeks on the app on a question and answer uh, session to really find out what's really going on and how he thinks about it and he's done studies on it. he's got a master's degree in it so we're trying to offer information and it was Steve's brainchild, you know. It's it's. We just want everybody to have a better time, catch more fish. Yes, and I mean that's yes, it, though. Yes, you know, yes. if if you take it down to yes, no agenda, no agenda. There's catch no more agenda. Fish. There's no agenda on Musky 360. It's all about giving you entertainment, education, and information, that's and that's nonstop. Yep. Yep. And it's totally accessible at any time, on your cell phone, on your pad. Anywhere, anytime, 24-7, 365. There you go. I'm, I'll take two. <laughs> <laughs> so if you haven't downloaded the app, by the way, it's free. You know, it, it's there's there's no strings attached to it. And, you know, we're, we're monetizing it through advertising. So, you know, it, it's that, that, that was our goal so that every muskie angler on the planet, whether it's just starting out to the most seasoned pro, can access it for something. If, and most, and actually, you know, all levels of musky fishermen are tapping into it. If for nothing else, it's just the entertainment value. Yeah. You know, it's just entertaining. It's just a blast. And but, like you say, the educational aspect, moon phases. I use it every day. That's why you're the guru. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of moon phases, because we we talked about it, Jay. We don't have Canada. Not gonna happen this year. Yeah. Sorry, not gonna happen. You know, yeah, we got August, September. Yep. Before people start thinking deer, yeah. Where, where where do we need to be up north? What's the what's the headset? Well, you know, the, up here we go through a whole a crazy period here. This is like we're at that summer peak. Yeah, we got flies flying around here. <laughs> it's Tyler. It's all. <laughs> it's Thank Tyler. You. Oh no. <laughs> so he's the fly guru. The fly guru. Now. He's the fly guru too. I'm out of here, man. <laughs> But you know, it's it's there. There are no there are no hard fast rules. You know, yeah. we have so many different bodies of water up here, from you know folks we've been talking to here in, here in yeah. the store today. From they're fishing rivers, fishing deep clear lakes. Wisconsin has such a wide variety of, of places to go and things to do. And and you're watching us. The folks that are watching us today, uh, visit the musky shop, you know, online from all over North America, probably all over the world. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you know, there there really is no set pattern, but as we move in the next month things start to change a little bit you know august is a time of change august mm -hmm. is a you know the day starts shortening the leaves start to subtly turn and then patterns change but i think that that's really a, you know really a subject for another another visit to the store but I, you know what do you do right now just yeah. if if i had to pick one thing if i had to pick one thing if somebody laid the old hundred dollar bill on the table and said can you catch a muskie what would you do i'd say the last hour and a half yeah <laughs> last hour and a half of daylight <laughs> last hour and a half of daylight go the first hour of darkness go fish your favorite two or three spots on your fit on your on, on a lake you know that would be my best advice well what i use it depends on the lake 
but more often than not it would be a jointed depth rater after dark and before dark it would be a selection of lures depending upon the area I'm fishing but the last hour and a half of daylight the first hour of darkness go fish your favorite spots on your favorite lake I, I've got a question for you um, you know for example you know, Stephen's on vacation right now he couldn't go to Canada this year obviously I, I'm stuck with these numb skulls. Well, yeah, but you guys, you guys started out hot. You, know, you got, what, four fish Sunday, huh? and then the water temps dropped. What do you say? You had about a nine-degree drop in water temp. What yep. are you guys going to do this afternoon to compensate for that? What I mean, what's the... Whatever the boss man says. the boss man says. When you're, yeah. the we, don't, we don't ask questions when we're fishing <laughs> with him. Joe's driving today. I would guess uh, tick and or click is possible. I don't know. Mm. Okay. It's possible, but whatever whatever you know what, says. Well, you know what, what what's what I've got in my mind right now. We have an east wind, east northeast wind, and the fishing's been tough. Mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna do a little bit of trolling. We're gonna okay. do, we're gonna troll, but we're gonna troll just the way I learned from Buck Perry uh, years and years ago. Mm -hmm. We're gonna start out shallow, and then we're gonna move to the break line. And if we don't catch them there, we're gonna go a little bit deeper. And if we don't catch them there, we're gonna go into open water. And if we don't catch them there, then we're going to go have some ribs. We're going to go home. <laughs> <laughs> well, good luck, to, good luck tonight, guys. And if, okay, this might be B-roll, but let me just ask. You don't have to do it if you don't want to. Steven, would you like to retell the story of how Master Joda got his nickname? Yes, Because that I, I heard on the app, I laughed so hard. Okay. You, would you? You ready? Uh, uh, we're on. Are you videoing? So there we are, Lake of the Woods. It's 11 o'clock at night. I'm tired. I'm hungry. It's cold. We hadn't caught anything. It's very dark. It's very dark. And we had fished our last spot, which I think was Carcass, I believe. And so we come off this reef, and we have no navigation <laughs> lights on the boat. The screens are turned off the thing, and Joe punches a 250-horse or 200-horse Evan Rude and just drives across the Lake of the Woods with no clue where he's at looking at hilltops and trees i'm sitting like this and i turn to tyler andrews and i go if i die this way eh, it could be way worse <laughs> so we finally get to the camp and i we go what on earth dude you're like scaring the crap out of us and then i said how did you find your way back to camp he goes i used the force <laughs> so henceforth master joda so you know what's funny is, is well, you know what, what's what's funny about that, Steve, is is all those years that I had to drive around up there without GPS. Right. Oh yeah, you got to know yeah, it. We but. didn't have GPS, you know. So I learned, you know, it, you know, to turn the lights down, you know, on my sonar equipment, or whatever, so off. I can so I can see <laughs> off. Off. Well, because it blinds your eyes. Yep. You know, so I, I when I, you know, all the night fishing I did for all those years, so I turned the lights off so I can see, you know, I can see the 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 horizons, and believe it or not. You know, you oh. can even in, in almost pitch darkness, you can see really well if you if you know your landmarks. What's not well? What's nice about Lake of the Woods? There's no rocks, so it's completely yeah, safe. Yeah, right. You know, oh, it was yeah. fine. <laughs> there's nothing. I mean, there's no risk at well, all. You, well, you know, the riding other, my wheel on my hand, the other blood side of the type story on is, my shoe. <laughs> <laughs> really, you know what? I didn't know those guys were fighting. I thought they were just. I'm just busy trying to you know concentrate on getting us back, and I'm using the force to get us home. Oh, you it. know, yeah. I'm using my. Uh, yeah, I'm using my, you know, using old school kind of stuff to get us get us back and wheel, be, you know, whiz around between the islands and through, you know, between Well, fortunately, reefs. he drives slow and conservative, though. Do I? Yeah, oh, he's just... Is that sarcasm? Yeah, he just puts his everywhere. It's very, <laughs> it's very fun. You'd be in the cooler and go like... <laughs> Oh yeah, but hey, what are you gonna do? You I, know, it, what's what's really in, it, it's kind of wrapping that, that kind of that funny conversation up. It's, it's actually, I do pitch this every now and then. Is that we become so reliant yeah, on electronics, and I find myself starting to do more of this stuff with the mm -hmm. side imaging and all this stuff. But you, you find you when I started fishing, and then when I started guiding and everything, it was all about you know trusting Landmark. your instincts, landmarks, mm -hmm. your, but instincts, yeah. instincts, you know. You, you 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 read the bird activity. You read the wind direction. You mm -hmm. read sky conditions. You read mm -hmm. all the you you the, these even these hunches and feelings about things that, and some in, in a lot of good anglers still do that. You know they still rely on hunches to even to go where they're going to go, what spot they're going to fish, and you I, know I guess that our generation of anglers, you know because we didn't have the electronics 
when we first started and throughout most of our career, we had to actually develop that part of our game. And, and believe it or not, that is how, what, su what really suits me so well. It serves me well in the hunting game and Guru hunts with me. So, you know, the bow hunting game, you know, hunting these big trophy bucks, it's all about instinct. Mm -hmm. It's all about reading weather and, and having good hunting instincts. And that's what I do with the fishing thing. I would say this, I just, on that tip though, you said that and it just, my brain went off about like fishing reefs. I've been working mm -hmm. with Guru on fishing open water reefs. And back in the day when it was dropping a marker buoy or pulling in there, I feel like, and I had to change my game where I caught less fish once I was like, I knew exactly where the reef was instead of fishing into it. So you're fishing all this water around it and between and it. Fishing kind of in, and fishing it. And yeah, there for a minute, I had to make that transition. Like, well, here's the rock. I'm right on it. Opposed to that, that little extra drift in, that little bit of stuff. There's a, there's a lot of merit there to instincts and just reading it. Well, you know, what's interesting about that is when I fished with Chaz Martin yesterday, mm -hmm. <coughs> the dude. The dude. <laughs> he, uh, the only fish they caught mm -hmm. was off of a reef. They were casting around trying to find the reef. Mm -hmm. And um, they're trying to find the reef. And he looked off at uh, his side imaging and saw that off the reef, the, you know, they could see the break line starting to come up. But they knew the reef was on the left. And they were starting to approach the reef, the reef, but Chaz saw a suspended fish off this reef on his side imaging and just turned around and threw at it. Wasn't where, we, wasn't where he wanted it to be, exactly. but he found it. Yeah. Exactly. So you're absolutely right about that. When you're sometimes you know trying to s seek these places out, you end up... And I'll tell you, that's the value also with the trolling thing, is you're trolling mm -hmm. between reefs. You and I mm -hmm. uh, and, and Chaz, a few, uh, maybe a week or so ago, we stuck a really good fish trolling yeah. between the reefs. Yeah, going from one reef to the next, so the fish was really hanging out. Was the fish followed off the reef over open water, or was the fish just there? Who cares? He's in the net That's where right. he was. That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> well, thank you so much, guys, for coming by. Enjoyed the discussion as always. Good luck fishing tonight. Absolutely. Thank you. It, we love coming to the musky shop. You guys are awesome. The shop is awesome. And uh, getting Steve up in the North Woods and getting him in the store. It's cold. Is cool. it, yeah. <laughs> hey, this guy's dressed. This guy's dressed like it's actually cold out. You know, we're out there in shorts and yeah. white beater shirts and right. Yeah, dude. Yeah. I'm, I'm kind of short sleeves. Yeah. 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 yeah, it's only 75 degrees. <laughs> it's out 75. It's only 75. He's got his hoodie up. He's, yeah. His, yeah, he's got his rain gear on. And, his, all seen and, and what, what kind of socks were you wearing the other day? I had Gore-Tex socks. Yeah because it's yeah. cold 65 <laughs> is cold straight out cold trash <laughs>